we touch the nerve, we have the right amount of weight per square inch touching that body and it gets the signal to the brain right away. And it's a release of the calming and happy hormones that we all need. Welcome to the Honestly Adoption Podcast, the show that gives hope and insight from real voices on the foster and adoption journey. Pull up a chair. We're glad you could join us. Here are your hosts, Mike and Kristen Berry. Well, friends, welcome back to the Honestly Adoption Podcast, and welcome to you. If you are brand new to the show, we're glad you're here. My name is Mike Berry, along with Kristen Berry. We are your hosts, and we're excited. We love doing this show. We're in the 19th season, if you can believe that. Nin season 19, and this is episode 152, and we had a lot to share with you in this week's episode. Our good friend, Marna Pacheco from Capable is here with us to tell you all about Capable weighted products. And Kristen, we absolutely like a billion percent love Marna. We do. She's one of those friends that you just, I don't know, stumbled into being friends with, I guess. We met her at a conference and just hit it off. And turns out that she is from Indiana, just like we are, which meant, you yeah. know, back before COVID, we were able to meet up and we were, go we to were lunch together. <laughs> I know. We, yeah, we were like, we face-to-face -face friends. Remember Seriously. those? I do. I remember that. And, you know, I, I remember one of the fun, one of the most fun things pre-COVID was just what we would call like the conference circuit, making the conference circuit, the conference route. So Refresh Seattle, Replanted Conference, the Reconference, all these places. And Marna was there. And Marna was at uh, Insight Conference, our conference last fall. And it was so much fun because it's just like you have a band that travels together, you know, like the, all the acts together. And we loved it. And Marna's fun. Um, she's just a ball of energy. Uh, and we love her. And you're going to love hearing about her company, Capable. Uh, which Kristen is super in love with. In fact, I had to drag her off out of Marna's little booth at the first Refresh Chicago because yes, we were enjoying you the know, products. <laughs> back in the day where we could, you know, be face to face with people and touch things without hand sanitizer, Marna traveled with her products and capable products are weighted products. Some of those are, um, weighted clothing items, weighted blankets, fidgets. And yes, it is absolutely true. Mike has had to come get me from her display. Um, and so you have to come back now. You're at work. You, yeah. you have to teach or you have to run you're, our You're table. supposed to be you on can't stage. be at her table the whole time. Right. So yeah. it, it has happened a few times that I have had to be pulled away from her products. Um, our kids actually love her products as well. Um, she has not paid us to do this advertisement. This is just, um, from our heart, man. Yeah. She just has some of the best things. So we're excited to introduce you to her. Um, and we encourage you to go and check out uh, everything that she has available. Um, our kids have benefited so much from all of her products and we have as well. Yeah, we're going to tell you a little bit more about uh, Marna and her company, Capable, in a moment. I will tell you this. You can visit honestlyadoption.com forward slash books. I know it says books, but we also have our partner resources and blogs. And scroll to the bottom and you'll find a direct link to Capable Weighted Products. Uh, man, if you have kids with sensory input issues, you have kiddos who, who are always wiggling around and you know are always feeling anxious, overwhelmed, you need to check out Capable. They use a, 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 a patented technology called Smart Weight Technology. Marna's going to tell you more about it in the show. Check that out. And listen, we told you about this last week. We'll tell you again, our brand new book, Securely Attached, How Understanding tra Childhood Trauma Will Transform Your Parenting is now available everywhere books are sold. We're super proud of this book. It's all about understanding trauma in a simple fashion, parent to parent. Picture it like we're having coffee with one another and we jump into a, a conversation about how trauma changes the brain, disrupts attachment, and how you can rebuild that, how you can manage behaviors, better communicate your children's needs. It's all a part of this book. Visit securelyattachedbook.com to learn more. And I'm telling you, this book is like, was like the number one new release in pediatrics uh, in the last couple of weeks, which has blown our minds. Child psychology has picked it up. Um, man, 
get this book, uh, securelyattachedbook.com. We're proud of it. I'm proud of it. I'm excited. I am too. To release it. All right, guys, enough about all of that. Let's jump in to this week's episode. Marna, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Honestly Adoption Podcast. Oh, I'm so, so awesome to be here. Thanks. We're so glad you're here because the last time I think we tried to do this and it like crashed and burned was nobody's fault. It was technology. We're going to blame it on technology. (laughs) But now you're here. Yep. And the last time we saw each other in person was not at the Insight Conference um, down in Indy. Yes. Yeah. Was it? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Our conference. Yes, your yes. conference, which Our con- was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing. It was very, it was really cool. It was so much fun to have that. But I'll tell you, so we're going to get into what you do with Capable and your weighted products, which we're super excited, which by the way, you're, you're one of our featured partners on our brand new site over at honestlyadoption.com forward slash books, if anybody wants to check that out. And there's a reason for that because, uh, and we're going to get into this, but back to that insight conference deal, you were there and you were one, you were one of the only um, exhibitors there. And there's a reason for that because what you guys do at Capable, we suit, we strongly believe in. And we were all about at insight, we were talking about, you know, helping uh, understanding your child, changing your approach, gaining insight into, um, into your child. And a big part of that is understanding their sensory needs and what, what's going on with their body. Um, which is a huge deal with kids with a trauma history. So um, we're going to get into all that. I'm glad you're here. And um, man, it, gosh, it's, it's, it's fun. This is fun. I'm glad you're here because this is a big topic. So, so my first interaction with you, Marna, was when I was speaking at Fresh conference. Yes. Um, and I was the first main speaker to be up at a brand new refresh conference in Chicago. And, yeah. um, you know, I would, I was a little nervous to start off the whole weekend, but you had a lovely couch that blanket up over me. And I was so relaxed in that moment. I didn't want to move. Um, thank you. You didn't make me move. You let me sit there for a really long time. Um, but that was actually, you know, I wasn't really looking for a way to cope with stress. Um, I just thought your products looked awesome. And the truth of the matter is I was so relaxed and focused and ready to go when I got up off that couch. That was a selling point for me. You had me as a lifelong customer from that moment I think on. We, I, think, I think I had to come out and get you and be like, hey, you're on. <laughs> They're yeah, looking he's, for he's you. He's like, this is your actual job. Yeah. You, you have to get off the yeah. take the weighted blanket off and and go to your job okay so people are probably like what the heck does marna yeah. do then tell me all about this so talk to us a little bit about what you do and t- just tell us about you and also okay. what you do well i um am a mom and a wife and i have two daughters i have a 26 year old And I have a 14 and a half year old and our 14 and a half year old, we adopted at a little over two years of age and um, she changed our world and uh, lots of crazy changes. We um, kind of call her our hard, beautiful miracle because you can have the hard and the messy and the beautiful and the broken all together. And, and um, goodness gracious, um, she exposed so much about myself, uh, my own trauma in my past, you know, so many things that our children from adoption do um, from revealing who we are and then also understanding uh, what trauma does to the brain, what it does, you know, what they miss um, in those developmental uh, early, early stages of life. So, of course, you know, do we understand what happened in womb? You know, what's their drug exposure? Was there this, this? And then, of course, after birth, then what is that development and what happens or what do they get the attachment? Do they get the nurturing? Um, what is all of that? So of course we bring our, well, I met my daughter in another country and um, I went probably about five days later said, wow, I think we're going to have some surprises. Now I had no idea what those surprises were. And basically as the surprises unfolded, 
I became mama bear. Um, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to search and research, read every book, get on every Yahoo line, if that tells you how long ago it was, um, all these Yahoo groups. And um, because of that, it started unfolding that, okay, wait a minute, children from trauma, something, something happens to their brain. Something happens from a sensory standpoint. Something happens... Um, you've got to look at it different. You've got to switch your paradigm. So basically, um, my daughter inspired me to, through therapies and multiple therapies, to look at weighted product. And the only thing out there at the time was weighted blankets that I thought were ugly because of maybe the fabrics or something, um, a lap pad, if you will, and what I call a straight jacket look of a weighted vest. It looked like a straight jacket with lots of Velcro. And my daughter did have lots of abuses and neglect and um, she was tied down and contained. And so I thought, there's no way I'm going to put a straight jacket of a vest on her. And basically went ahead and made a weighted blanket and made it a lap pad for my daughter. The funny thing that happened is she stood up and the blanket fell down at her feet. And I went, hmm, I can't get my daughter out of the front door. How am I gonna go to the store? How am I gonna, how are we gonna even take part of any activity? I mean, we literally, for the first several years, had to either put our daughter in a buggy or hold her. There was no putting her down to walk. There was, I mean, she was in this massive fight, flight, or freeze all the time, like just high level. And so when that blanket fell down at her feet, I thought, hmm, what am I going to do here? Well, then she took the lap pad, put it around her neck, and we ended up putting a snap in it to keep it around her neck. And I thought, oh, it's a little bulky. Just, you know, it's, yeah, it's cute. It's great fabric. But um, I collect vintage patterns and I saw a capelet. And I went, hmm, in my research, I had knew that the pressure the compression needed to stay in contact with the nerve. And I thought, how do I defy gravity? Because all that weight's gonna go down. I'm not putting bean bags at the perimeter, the bottom of this cape. How do I do it? So we quilted, um, came up with a design and basically took it to um, occupational therapy. And the occupational therapist said, what have you done here? <laughs> and she <laughs> said, uh, I already know that I want this all of my all of my clients to have this weighted cape, and um, quite honestly, the biggest thing for me that happened is after that appointment, because I live in a very small town and I'm an hour away from any major yummy shopping. And my selfish personal goal goal was: can I go to Target, get a Starbucks, and can I walk through the store without one massive rage after another, after another, after another? And so here. My daughter has this sweet little pink cape on and we make it to the front door. We make it nice. to the cart and then we're strolling through. And my daughter is looking so awesome and cute and adorable. And I get to the checkout and I'm like, oh my goodness, I made it. I, I made it to the checkout. And then the cashier goes, well, look at that pretty little princess. And they noticed my daughter for the first time and they didn't judge me on all of her behaviors. And they knew once she kind of started responding, oh, is she, yeah, she is a little special. <laughs> and, but they noticed her and it was like that, just that emotional mom moment of, oh my goodness. And from there, the story gets even crazier and, and more, I'm, I'm like, you guys write books, I don't. If I could write a book, there's no way I could even imagine how to dream up this story. So here we are. But that is initially how it started and what I do and who I am. So, you know, that really resonates uh, with me, especially, and maybe it will with you too, Mike. But um, at the time, um, I was responsible for everything uh, that, uh, pertaining to our kids back when they yes. were little. And um, we actually had a foster child in our home that um, just very, 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 very similar to what you are describing, uh, where the OT came with a few products and you know, she was like, okay, you know, try this weighted vest. And it, it uh, looked very 
medical, I guess. Yes. You know, I I think we're often very hesitant to say that we want something that looks nice, but the truth is we do want something that looks nice. What's more fun than, you know, oh, decorating our children. (laughs) Maybe that's not the right thing, but I I loved when when my kids were little uh, to buy that cute little outfit and um, to, to buy that pretty little sundress. And Mike and I actually had a foster child years and years and years ago, um, that is, you know, what you're describing was very much like our situation. Um, yeah. We couldn't. Uh, this child could wiggle out of a car seat. This child could climb out of a second story window. Um, and there wasn't a lot of connection. There was no, you know, hey, I, I need you to just, you know, sit tight for five minutes. There was no sitting yes. tight for five minutes. And our OT came with some products and they were kind of interesting, um, that sort of medical looking vest thing that the, the weights went in the pockets. Um, that seemed pretty helpful, but I would agree with you. It, it didn't look super cute. And you know, this child is taking it off anyway and pulling the weights out of it. Um, exactly. And the, the thing that you talked about that looks like a straight jacket, maybe if we've got some OTs listening in they're they're probably thinking the same thing. I know, I know I gave you one of those, this thing Velcroed all around this little body. Um, and again, it didn't look super cute. So now we're announcing if we're out in public that we've Velcroed this child together, (laughs) which just looked like a little Edward scissor hands kind of thing going on. And, um, (laughs) We actually tried a whole bunch of other things, trying different, uh, using an ACE bandage to put pressure on the shoulders and around yep. uh, the midsection. Um, man, I wish that I would have known about those products. I wish you would have had those products uh, back in the day when we were kind of trying to to meet both of those needs. One thing I love about the products that you've created is not only are they adorable, um, and they are, uh, they're just really beautiful products. You would not notice that someone is wearing something that is helping them stay centered. Really, it just mm-hmm. looks like a cape. It just looks like, you know, a little lap blanket. Um, one of my kids uh, likes to take his and and wrap it, you know, from shoulder to shoulder and it puts that pressure on, but it honestly doesn't look like anything more than uh, a toy or a scarf or something. Uh, nobody would really be alerted that this is something that a child is using for sensory needs. Um, and I just, I, I love the way that you've put that care and that thought into not only how it feels, um, because your products are exceptionally soft, um, but also, you know, into the way that it looks, what does that mean for, um, for a child or even an adult using your products to be able to take those out into public? Can you tell us a little bit about how you ended up designing those? Well, so I'm going to start with we have the design of products for weighted blankets for sleep, and then we have stylish wraps and weighted wearables throughout the day. So there is a big difference between a lot of people with the weighted blanket craze. They, they're seeing them all over the place. They can buy them on the end caps at Target and Walmart and all of that. Um, so we're hearing about weighted blankets, but there is a difference for that weighted wearable or something that you're going to wear mm. throughout the day in that upright position. But even before going there, the only way that I can describe um, what we've designed is we were called Capable because it started with a cape and it's a clever name, but it's also our powerful. We're all capable. We can reach our own capabilities, whatever that may be. So, you know, no one has to be one capable like. We can all be our unique difference, which is what I love. So we are capable. And obviously that sweet little pink cape is what um, propelled us to call us capable. We can reach all our capabilities individually. Um, We don't all have to have one capable-ness about us. And so it's a powerful name, but really what makes us unique is the smart weight technology. And what smart weight technology is doing is um, using a current science, neuroscience, and the whole body um, then versus the old uh, 10 to 15% body weight formula that's been out there for a long time. It's been about 30 years. So 
when it comes to the design of that weighted blanket for sleep or an all day weighted wearable that you can use throughout the day, which I did focus on the design of that, having lush fabrics, making it fashionable, stylish, functional, delightful, and not so, oh, you're different, oh, you're special, oh, whatever. But it's really what we've put in that, and that's what that smart weight technology is. And that piece is really what we're trying to introduce to the world um, when it comes to you don't just want to have a heavy, heavy, heavy weighted product. You really need to make sure that that weighted product is appropriate for sleep at night or throughout the day that you wear. Yeah. And yeah. that is the difference. Yeah, I, I, I'm so glad you brought this up because going back to what we were talking about when you were at the Insight Conference, and then we've had this conversation at Replanted yeah. Conference and Refresh. We've been all over the country. It seems like we're like on tour together or something like that, yeah. right? Um, which is super fun. Um, but I know that we've had this conversation before, like, and you've had people say to you, well, I already have a weighted blanket. I got yeah. it at Walmart, you know, yeah. or I already have, I got, I got one at Target, but, and you always do this so politely and so respectfully. Um, whereas some people would be like, don't go to Target, don't go to Walmart, which is not <laughs> what we're saying, but, no. um, you actually do, you actually do a really good job of saying, okay, well, here's the difference. Right. And I, if, if you can, I'd like for you, I'd love for you, for our listeners, for you to explain that because there are people listening right now that are thinking, okay, why should I switch? Why should I look at capable? I already have, yes. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond or wherever they get weighted yep. products, um, which may not be a bad thing, but there's a difference. Right. So right. I want, I would love for you to just walk through. I know you just explained that, but what would yeah. you say to somebody who's like, Hey, but I already have this blanket. Right. You know, um, Weight can be used, but it needs to be used correctly. And there are some things that happen in the history of weight. It actually started in the mental health community. Um, for those that were struggling with um, maybe uh, schizophrenia, um, maybe anything with extreme behaviors, but they were adults. And so at that time in the 70s, they threw a heavy blanket on. Well, if you focus only on the behaviors, more weight, more weight, more weight. And it just became kind of like, okay, well, then in the early 80s, they were diagnosing autism as a mental illness, which it is not, but they were then, um, moms were desperate to find answers. And so they were putting these heavy 30 pound blankets on these children diagnosed with autism. And unfortunately, bad things can happen when you put too much weight on a child um, or babies or et cetera. And so um, during that time then, late 80s, early 90s, Dr. Temple Grandin came in and was really talking about sensory processing disorder and explaining that. And of course, she developed the squeeze machine. And um, now the big phrase of deep touch pressure came out. Well, in that process, um, the professional community was like, okay, we got to make sure that Babies don't get, um, have blankets on over their face and suffocate them and then they die. Um, and then, um, okay, wait a minute. How do we help kids? Um, how do you carry your blanket around the rest of your life? You're not a Linus. So what do we do on um, this formula that we have to come up with? So they took it from spinal health, which is um, for a purse and a backpack. Um, if you're an adult, it would be 20 to 25% of your body weight. So everyone who carries a purse or a purse or whatever, a backpack, it should never be more than 20 to 25% of your, of your body weight. Well, first of all, I don't like announcing what my body weight is anyway. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> right. So, and then of course, it depends on if you like carrying it all with you. And you know, if you're a mom from trauma or dad from trauma, you're pretty much taking it all with you because whatever you got in your toolbox, you're going to use. So, so my purse, my backpack was always very heavy, um, but it wasn't good for spinal health, basically, because of that unevenness. Well, mm. for children, it was 10 to 15 percent of the body weight. And they went, oh, we're going to stop there. Let's go there. 10 to 15 percent of the body weight for children diagnosed with special needs or mainly autism at that time. And the hard part about that is, first of all, um, how many of us wear our purses or backpacks 24 hours a day? 
So we don't um, because it's uneven joint compression. It's either one shoulder or that's why we have the backpacks because it's supposed to be even it out, but then you're leaning way far back and it's all of this. But that formula basically became kind of the golden rule for weight with weighted blankets, but then weighted vest started to be um, constructed. And then um, Kristen, of course, I think you had said how those ugly weighted vests look medical and they had the little bean bags and then you had to choose which one and you put them all in the pockets and you've got Velcro and we all know what happens with Velcro. And so- Oh, um, and I'm bad with math. <laughs> yes. You're saying 10 to yes. 15% of this- Yes. Yes. Two and a half year old, you know, I'm like, yes. I don't know. I can't get this I, child to stand on a I also, I, I would like to know, I would like to know who uses a MERS. I, think, <laughs> I, I need somebody, I need somebody to email us and tell us, admit that they, that awesome. they, they wear a MERS or they use a MERS. I'm not going to say whether I do or not. Somebody is going to now. Right. Somebody's going to, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a, a P&W Seattle thing because I'm from Seattle and we get it all in Seattle. Even though I don't live in Seattle anymore, all my family lives there, but go P&W. Oh, I'm, not making, I'm not making fun of it. I'm not making fun of it. I just, I would love to hear. I, I need somebody to admit and be open. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. That's why I love you. Okay. So basically this formula was complicated. It was kind of crazy. And you know, I don't blame people for wanting a formula. We all want formulas. We want formulas with our kids, don't we? I mean, really, we want a formula. If I do this, and if I do this, and I do this, then all that trauma is going to disappear. Well, it's not going to. Um, so we all want formulas. Um, but it has stuck there for 30 years, basically. And no one has taken the time to challenge the formula um, until my daughter <laughs> inspired that. And basically, in my research, I studied three things. I studied Dr. Temple Grandin's research on what is deep touch pressure. And most people think deep touch pressure is heavy, 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 heavy. Well, go get a sack of potatoes then because you can get heavy, um, but it really isn't about heavy. Dr. Temple Grandin told us three things that need to happen with weighted or pressure and pressure or with deep touch pressure. And that is, it needs to conform to any shape or body size or age. Um, it needs to compress gently and evenly. And it needs to have consistent, constant contact with every nerve. So Dr. Temple Grandin's squeeze machine really wasn't just two boards pressing her. It was actually a, roll, a roller foam and she would lay in it. And when she could self um, uh uh, lower the pressure on her or anyone that went in her squeeze machine, it conformed, it compressed, and it had even distribution of, of that compression. And it was all about activating the nerve. So that's our secret. We activate the nerve in the best way, which I'll go into that. So then the second thing that we studied is touch. Well, number one, to activate the nerve, you've got three layers of skin that you've got to move it down to. And to get deep touch pressure, you've got to get to that third layer of skin, the hypodermis layer. And that is where your pain receptors are going to say, is this too hot? Is this too cold? Is this too hard? Is this too whatever? And um, what happens at that third layer, that's when deep touch pressure actually really happens. And then the third um, person studied and really looked at was um, Dr. Porges with the polyvagal theory and understanding what felt safety means. And with that combination of everything coming together, um, smart weight was created because we distribute the weight every two inches. We are in constant contact with more nerves. We don't have to use a massive amount of weight. We actually use the right size of bead in order to get to that third layer of the skin. And then there's complete freedom of movement, no matter what product you use. And that no matter how you move under the product, you will have the same weight consistently, no matter what. And then the most exciting thing happened is that um, a third party hospital asked to do a controlled IRB study on our um, weight distribution in oncology with those receiving chemo for cancer. 
And um, that study came back and it blew the lid off. And it was so um, what they called astronomically significant, the p-values. And so it turned into as a pilot study, a crossover study, and now they're doing multiple controlled IRB studies as well as many wow. hospitals across the nation using our product because we um, infused smart weight technology in two different kinds of fabrics. We've got our minky soft plush sensory yummy feel. And then we've got our medical grade antimicrobial. Mm -hmm. It passes all COVID compliant cleaning, um, infectious control disease, etc. And it can go into the medical community anywhere yeah. across the world. Yeah. Now I want to say this because I think we want to, we want you to be able to share like your products and everything, but for the parents that are listening to this and they're saying, okay, but does this really work? Right. We can say, Kristen and I can say, your weighted products work with one of our kids who is, whose body is always moving all over the place. Uh, yeah. A couple of summers ago in particular, we were driving home from speaking at a family camp way up in North Dakota. It was a long drive. It was a boring yeah. drive. And yeah. this, this little one of ours just began to flip out and not just flip out like body moving all, all over the place, but like really like, yeah. like, oh, yeah. you know, um, Super Bowl meltdown big time. Yeah. Right. Yes. And Kristen, Kristen got uh, the weighted blanket, uh, the capable weighted blanket that we have and draped it over him. And it was like mm -hmm. within minutes, mm -hmm. he completely calmed down. So we can say, yes, this works. We've oh, seen absolutely. this work. Yeah. I, I love, yeah, I love the way that you, you're talking about the science behind that because yes. that helps me to, to visualize what it is I'm trying to do here. Um, yes. And even though I don't understand that, I'm telling you that I've seen it <laughs> yes. face to face. We have yes. seen so, it. Yeah, we've you know, seen it with I, our I love eyes. that you explained it. And then in my everyday life, what I see is... Um, my children being able to, not just my children, I love to get the weighted blanket out yes, and just too. sit with it. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> what, you know, what too, I'm people. seeing is, you know, for, for my children and myself uh, yeah. to be able to say, I feel like I need something right now. And then to know that that product is designed in a way uh, to function along with my life. Um, which leads us into, you've talked about some of your medical products. You've talked about capes. You've talked about blankets. Could you tell us a little bit more about the variety of products that you offer and what that would look like? What does that look like for, um, you know, a child, a little one like mine? Um, what does that look like for an adult? Uh, so, right. you know, what are, what are kind of the variety of situations we might use your different products in? Well, first of all, I love that you said that, Kristen, about yourself, because, you know, as caregivers of children from hard, um, life is hard, all of things, you know, 2020 sucks. Um, it's just so, so hard. But um, I, my story about my hair, we created this product. And I mean, and you would think I would be living with all of it on me, you know, all the time. It took me years before I was even using my own weighted blanket on myself because I was always giving, giving, giving to the business, giving to other people, my daughter, our families. So we forget about ourselves as the caregivers, as the mom and dads or the guardians or whatever, we forget ourselves. And so what I really want to say too, is that this product is not for special needs. It is not for just autism. It's not just for a diagnosis. It's for any and everyone who has a central nervous system. And right now, you know, you can take Advil for a headache. Um, you can put a cold compress on, or you can take a medicine, put a Band-Aid on a cut, whatever. We, we are the mental or the PPE to mental health, if you will, to take care of ourselves. I carry all my stress right here. It's like, it just, we're hun hunched over all the time. We're like this, or we're looking over at our computers. And all of a sudden you put that smart weight distribution where it just evenly goes across. And it, it is intense 
instantaneous because we touch the nerve, we have the right amount of weight per square inch touching that body and it gets a signal to the brain right away. And it's a release of the calming and happy hormones that we all need. Every single person needs that joy, that endorphin of the hug. We need a hug mm -hmm. and we need it even more now because we're so socially distanced and we can't connect and we are never created to be here and not connect and touch and, and um, be together as a community and working together. So the bottom line is it is for adults as well. I started sleeping with my own weighted blanket three and a half years ago, and I won't sleep without it. I mean, it is like my one, besides coffee, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> and wine. For another Jesus, episode. Jesus also okay. turned water into wine, so we there have to you thank go. you for that too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, <laughs> and so I just, I sleep with my weighted blanket every night. When I wake up in the morning, if I can get up in the morning before my little one gets up and starts my little one doesn't just get up and slow <laughs> we get up and it's go 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 and it's bounce 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 and it's loud 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 and it's everything all over the place magnified um yeah. times 100 right so if i can get that cup of coffee i put the wrap around my shoulders or if i'm at work um or i'm driving when we would go to the conferences and we'd all see each other i mean it's all about okay i'm wearing the fashion scarf so what are the different products Okay, so we have blankets for sleep and we have four different sizes. So the interesting thing about smart weight is we don't really care what your body weight is. I'll never ask you what your body weight is, um, but I will ask you what your age is. Your age is important because your age will determine a lot of times what your size is, meaning are you two feet or are you six feet? Um, and sometimes body weight matters only because if, you know, we aren't an all one size um, fits all. That's a lie. Do you know that when it says fits one size? No, it doesn't. Um, we all come in different sizes and shapes and body sizes. So if you are that big burly dude and you want to be completely covered over in a blanket, then you're going to want to go to the bigger blanket. But you're going to want to go with a preferred weight fill because in that study, what we found is that that is like the Goldilocks, um, three bears. It's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right of the right amount of nerve activation that's pleasing. And you don't want a blanket to ever restrict or restrain. Never, never, never. I always give this little example. This is what smart weight is, which is every two inches, we distribute the weight. And that is always the same way, no matter how you move. And so um, none of us are flat Stanleys. We're all a little round and curvy. Some are a little less curvy than others. I'm very curvy. So when this weight goes down and that conformity, compression and constant contact with the nerve stays in contact, I can move my leg here and have the same amount of weight per square inch in here, freedom of movement. But it's also always activating that nerve. Or all weighted blankets on the market have a six inch square with plastic sand glass, by the way, micro sand glass, that's going to seep through all of the little stitching. And here's what mm -hmm. happens. It's weight, but it becomes a sandbag. And you put it over your arm or your leg. And all of a sudden, all the weight is here and you have nothing touching your nerve. And it actually restrains you, stops you from moving. So why I bring that up is a three-year-old, a 13, a 23, a 73-year-old could all be under our preferred weight um, fill, which is the one that we recommend 99, 98% of the time. But why would I ask a three-year-old to get a big, their, the biggest blanket we have where she's having to luggage around when that little sweet body is going to go under it and only the weight that touches her is weight on her. She doesn't need all that excess right. weight. So we have a small blanket, medium blanket, twin blanket, full blanket. That's for yeah. sleep all night long. But then the weighted wearables are when we're in this upright position and we're like, okay, I've got stress. I've got a meeting. I've got another Zoom <laughs> meeting, um, whatever it is. And then you can put a wrap around you. And I've got one right here where you can just put this wrap around you and lay it on your shoulders. And this happens to be our medical grade, by the way. And it just goes right around your shoulders. And I'm sorry if I'm hitting the speakers, but now You're all fine. of a sudden I am literally mm -hmm. just getting the download. It's like, ah, oh, and it's right here. 
And then I can wrap it around my waist. We've got fashion scarves, we've got sashes, we've got capes. And I said I would never make the ugly blue vest, right? I oh, know. Well, that thing right there is an ugly blue vest. Actually, it is a medical grade, COVID compliant disinfectant and cleaning, just wipe clean, no machine wash, tumble dry. Um, we had to make it because, believe it or not, um, we have children in residential treatment facilities, we've got mental health facilities, we've got the opiate crisis, we've got the VAs, hospitals, they severe right. PTSD, we have de dementia, I could go on and on and on. They are needing something in the medical community. and. Those that have had uh, traumatic brain injuries at a younger age and they're in the nursing homes and they're basically tied to the wheelchairs and they cannot keep themselves calm, what they're finding with our product because of that even distribution of weight, because it's um, got the compression, it's got the hug mm -hmm. and it's not just like a backpack or something crazy and it's got Velcro and you got to figure out this puzzle piece. They can put it on, instant relief. They can take it off when they want to. If you've got the minky fabric, it's machine wash, tumble dry, all one piece construction. And if it's the medical grade, it's just wipe clean. And it's just that simple. But it also had to be fashionable. So wow. the minky uh, vest is also in our minky fabric and it's beautiful, but I don't have it. I just have the medical here. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Boy, I love that. I, I am just really relieved and fascinated to find out about how um, medical facilities are using these products. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, we have some experience in both areas, yep. you know, yep. in our own home and then what that really looks like when, um, you know, we have a hospital stay uh, and yeah. that is obviously a need for um, some input, some pressure, some, um, you know, d targeting that, that whole area of our body in a healthy way. And, uh, and but, we know what that's like. But they cannot, and this is what's so crazy, smart weight was infused into that medical grade so it could be used medically. But it, you cannot, and I know I'm, saying a really bold statement here, but all of the weighted product that is out there is following a 30 year old formula. It is, it's not, it might give some relief, but the difference is, and again, not everyone can afford the Cadillac versus, I don't know, whatever the other, I mean, whatever the other car would right, be, right. you know, or the Jeep or whatever. We all want the bells and whistles. We do. But the reality is you really want the relief. You really want it to be effective. If you're going to purchase something that you can use and wear and, and take care of and have easy care, easy wear, easy use, um, our product is that. But um, not all weighted products are created the same. And that's really what we are trying to get across and what we've done. And, and you know, really only by God's grace and really by the inspiration of my daughter from trauma. It was her trauma and what happened to her brain that propelled me to even research and figure it out and go there. And I didn't try to go there. I didn't, I never imagined in a million years I'd be owning my own USA manufacturer, being a woman owned um, business owner who does that. And then who does that during COVID? I don't know, but um, all of these crazy <laughs> things. But here we are. And what propels me to keep going is my daughter is extreme. <laughs> She's extreme. And I know I'm not talking. I'm talking to friends here. I'm talking to, and I know your audience, they get it. I mean, I am your people. We are, we are the people <laughs> right. we live every yeah. day. And my daughter poos and pees and rages and ex does self harm and strips down naked and takes off <laughs> down the street. Yeah. Right. Um, we have put our product in the police cars so that they have something locally for her for when they can find her and so wow. far we've always found her thank goodness um i guess what i mean by being that bold and that open and transparent is that um i am trying to help my daughter have something before the extreme happens so a lot of times we see the behaviors and the wearables are to be the help of the before, 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 whether it's mm -hmm. calm, 
whether it's focus, whether it's helping with speech or reading or homework or vegging or not raging in the car when you're on a trip, because believe me, we have that too. Like, how do you even keep a child raging in a seatbelt? You can't. Right. And so there's all these things that I'm trying to create safety for my daughter. And then, but I do want it to be dignified and I do want it to be fashionable and I don't want to bring more un icky notice to her. Um, yeah, she's, yeah. she's a beautiful child. She deserves dignity no matter what. And yeah. she can't help what happened to her. And so what keeps my passion going about trying to get the introduction of smart weight out there is weight can be done smarter and better yeah. and safer and, and can, um, really get the results we want um, for our children and for ourselves. We can't forget ourselves because I'm a queen of forgetting myself for self-care. Yeah. I love that you talked about that, um, those preemptive things that we do as parents. And and so often I know that our listeners are, are listening in because we have found ourselves in a crisis and now we're just looking for resources. So a lot of me, what me. we do absolutely is um, reactionary. A lot of foster and adoptive parents are thinking things are fine. They, you know, I'm a decent person. I'm a decent parent. Surely I can figure this out. And we find ourselves in situations where we don't have the tools, we don't have the resources. Um, and so we're kind of coming onto this parenting thing from the back end. What yeah. I hope yeah. that our listeners are hearing is that um, by researching these things, looking into this, finding your products specifically, um, because they've been so helpful to us, Thank we you. can actually kind of create some things for our kids. Uh, that will help have success on the front end. If yeah. I can pack my car ahead of time and know that I've got, you know, a pack of gum, a game to play, <laughs> yes. a little snack, a juice box, and yes, my child's weighted blanket. That's right. Now I'm preparing so that hopefully we're not finding ourselves reacting to a situation. Now we have prepared Right. for, you know, the, the most ideal situation, the most success um, that our kids can have and that, and that we can have as parents. You're so right. We are one tool of many tools. And I remember when you guys graciously met my husband and my whole family at Red Robin. Go Red Robin. <laughs> Go yeah. Red Robin. Man, don't you yeah. miss all that. of that? Oh, I no. Do. COVID miss happened. It. Yeah. We oh. can't. We can't just sit without a mask over our face and talk. Oh, my goodness. Happening. No more. But Sadness. you guys were so gracious to my oldest biological daughter. And for the first time, you guys, she was like, what do you mean? I thought I was this abnormal. I mean, I don't, I, we, you know, anyway, it, so many beautiful things that you guys did. You were a tool at that time in our lives. We needed to hear you. We needed to hear the hard things. We needed, we needed our daughter to meet you guys so that she saw someone family that got it, that we were mm -hmm. not these lone islands. Um, um, yeah, and then yeah. even though the weighted product for us capable is one tool of many tools, I will tell you it is the best tool out there because it's current to science. It's using that neuroscience. It's understanding our nervous system as a whole. Um, and it's got the research behind it. And that's what we were really trying to do is really get that research, more and more research. So it wasn't just um, there's a lot of wives tales, if you will, about weighted product. It's a restraint. You can only wear it for 20 minutes. You can only do this blankets. Well, how can you sleep with a blanket all night long? But then you get up in there in the day and you put a vest on and, and a traditional old vest and you can only wear it for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because it was too heavy, too heavy. Yeah. And it did, and yeah. it was weighing everyone down. So I guess, in my passion um, to what I would call my people who have hard, beautiful miracles, all swimming around in there in the messy and the, and the beautiful, um, I, you know, our children really propel us to look what it propelled you guys to do and look at how you're helping so many families. We're trying to help families too, just in a different way. But if we can join our tools together and have that awesome toolbox and help each other um, when it's, having a dinner and talking about all the real things that are going on and, and sharing and um, talking about weighted products or throwing a blanket on or a wrap on or whatever it is throughout the day, then I really hope, hope, hope that we are making a difference in the world. And honestly, 
without my daughter, we would not have it here. And she is mostly yeah. nonverbal, by the way. She does have special needs on top of the attachment issues and many other things. Um, she has no idea how many thousands of lives she is touching. And that just, yeah, yeah. that just blows me away about how special our kids really, really are, you know? Yeah. 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 And it is changing lives. I mean, that's the thing. I think, you know, when we talk about what, what propels us on through the hard days, that's what it is right there. It's, it's, you know, you feel defeated. You feel like, what are we, what are we doing right now? And then you get that email from that person that says, thank you. Thank you. This change, we, we got that recently and it just was a boost that we needed, you know? And so what you're doing um, with capable uh, is changing lives. It's changed ours, changed our child's life. Um, but I, here's the thing. So I mentioned this earlier at the beginning of the show that, that you're, you're one of our featured partners over at honestlyadoption.com forward slash books. I know that's kind of a weird URL, but at the bottom of that page are our partner resources and Capable is down there. You'll see it. Um, scroll all the way to the bottom. We have a couple of rows of, of partners and Capable is one of them. But Marna, um, tell our listeners where they can find you, how they can connect with you and learn more about this amazing product. Awesome. So you can go to um, capable.com, which is our website. And we do spell capable wrong since it started with a cape. So it is C-A-P-E-A-B-L-E or spell it cape able, but it is capable. And then we are capable weighted products on Facebook and Instagram. And I am so not techno. So that's just about it. I mean, I'm, I think I'm, linked, <laughs> I'm trying to learn LinkedIn. Um, and I think I haven't posted anything on LinkedIn in five years. Nah, I don't okay. know. But yeah. <laughs> so, but um, really our website and then um, is the biggest thing. And then, of course, we have a retail store in front of our manufacturer in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So if anyone's familiar with Fort Wayne, Indiana, we're like about two minutes um, east of Sweetwater, which is off of 30, if anyone knows where that is. Um, obviously, COVID, we are asking for appointments because we're it's a small little retail and we want right. to um, make sure we respect everyone's social distancing and mask wearing and all of that. Yeah. Um, so we do that. But everything is can be purchased online, but you can text, call, or email me and all my information is at the bottom of the website. I am, I do, I answer the phone. I clean bathrooms and I sew. So we do it all here. Um, it all. And, um, but do text. And if you have any questions, you can certainly, um, you know, I'll be the one answering. So, yeah. And I just want to say for the record that it's completely okay that you spell Cape wrong because Krispy Kreme spells both words wrong and they're doing and they're amazing delightful. work and they're changing lives. Donuts as far as I'm are the bomb. Our they donuts are. are my, yes, coffee and donuts. They just Honestly, these are the tools hungry. that you need. So I think what we've learned from today, you need capable weighted products, yes. donuts and coffee, yes. and yeah. you're going to be an amazing parent. So we have just literally solved all the world's problems. We really Love have. That. One show solved right. it all. That's it. That's all There's you guys no, need to know. Thank you for listening in. <laughs> no need to go on. We're done. That's it. Nope. It's a wrap. Marna, as <laughs> always, it is just a delight to talk to you. I miss your face. I can't wait until Ditto. COVID is over and, and we can see each other again. Thank Great. you yes. for taking the time today to tell us a, a little bit about you and, and about these products and, and these tools that we could use as parents. Thank we you. appreciate you. Appreciate you guys so much, so much. Well, friends, we hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of the Honestly Adoption podcast. We absolutely love Marna. We love the work that she's doing with Capable and uh, everything that they're doing for families through their weighted products. Make sure you guys jump over to capable.com. As Marna said, it's the word cape, the word able.com. Of course, that's going to be in our show notes. And listen, make sure you visit our podcast website, honestlyadoption.com forward slash podcast. And we'll see you next week on the Honestly Adoption Podcast.